how to create a Wix store catalog. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a Wix store catalog into the Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need only to sign in into your account. As you can see here, we have our account of Wix and we have the site's dashboard. So the first thing that you need to do is to uh, go ahead and select the website that you want to add this catalog to. But in case you don't have a website and it is the first time that you are going to see here the site's dashboard or your Wix account, you're going to see here the first window, which is this one. And this window will help you to create your website by using both or one of the uh, two methods. Given right here, we have Wix Studio and also we have the simple and the classic Wix editor. So shows whatever you want and then you are going to get the help to uh, work on your website. So let's go ahead right there and select one of these websites that I own. So right there, or right away, it will, when you click on it, it will show up the uh, site's dashboard. So here we have the dashboard, everything is set. I have set at the shipping and delivery. Don't forget to set up the payment method. So all we need to do is to click on settings, then we are going to proceed to the payment method. So before setting up payment methods and uh, the shipping, I will show you how you can create right there at the shop or the online store. The first thing that you need to do is to click on edit site. After that, it will open up the website right away. Now I will let you see here the home page of my website. It will load up in a few seconds. Here I have sped up the process because the uh, Wix website will take a little bit of long period or long time to set up. So here we have it. As you can see here, we have the website loaded. We have our elements right away and ready. So the first thing that you need to do before adding anything is to install the Wix stores. How we can do that, you're going to click on the add element right away here. Then we are going to click on store. So here, in my case, I have already created a store. But in your case, you will see here a button clicking uh, or a clicking button uh, named or labeled uh, start or install uh, right away here at Wix stores. If you don't see something like that here, you're going to click on the three squares right there, which is the Wix app market. Then you are going to search for the app. Here you are going to set a Wix store or stores. So this is the official uh, integration and app. As you can see, you're going to install it right away. Click on add to site or install and it will be added. So how can you know that it is added? You're going to click on pages and menus. Then you are going to see from here that you have a store pages. Here we have uh, the product page and we have the shop. So right away, we're going to see the product page. I'm going to wait for the product page to load up and boom, here we have the product page. As you can see, we have everything from the name, the price, the add to cart button, the production or the product info and etc. So you can go ahead and click on the product page and click on manage product. These are some, let's say here, a demonstration of a product and not the real product. When you click on manage the product, it will show you the catalog. So this is the first thing. The catalog is here uh, designed or integrated with the store's product, the inventory, the category, the back in stock request, and etc. And here we have the catalog itself. So we have a lot. Also, we have booking service, gift cards, sales channels, and booking channels. So how we can create our catalog. So first it is very easy. When you head over the website and add the site or the stores, Wix stores, 
you're going to click on new product here we have the um the ability to create it manually or you can go ahead and click on more actions then you are going to import the multiple products to your store if you have a xls file or a csv file that has or contain the products from another or uh, a old store of yours for example you have a shopify store you can go ahead and import or export the product first from shopify as a csv file then you are going to import them here and here we are going to click on add a new product we have the choice to either create a physical product or a digital product let's begin with a physical product i'm going to choose it where well, there we have the first thing the entitled product so we are going to put here a product for example test test one uh, and here we have the uh, image and videos or the media concerning that specific product you're going to click on here add images or add videos you're going to see the uh, wix library you can go ahead and use whatever image that you have so let's say that this is the product we have we have here a model so here for the product info are going to put the basic info from the name rebond description of the product here we have the name i'm going to put a simple description or you can generate with the help of the ai so i've gone uh, too far with this i'm going back again to reproduce the, the steps that i have made now we are on the catalog i'm going to click on uh, here new product again then i will let you see here the different cases that we can add so we have here a test and here we are going to put test also here test so here we have some additional info section you can add some info section right there to put for example specification for the product uh, let's say that you are going to set for example material material or you can add a, a size chart for example i've added a size chart then you can go ahead and add a table right there and put it right away so here we have the pricing you can go ahead and put a the pricing like that for example you can get a the promotional uh, purpose uh, buttons like on sale show the price per unit you can go ahead and set the cost of the goods the profits and the margins these are uh, transparent only or, or are going to be shown only for you not for the clients here we can add a custom text you can allow the customers to personalize the product for example if you are going to sell a print on demand t-shirt um, products like glasses or something like that you can also add some product options like sizes weight and colors for example if you're going to add a color it will detect and you are going to show in product page as color for example we have a lot of uh, colors you can add whatever color you want for example gray you're going to get the hex code if you want to select the rgb or the hsp also go ahead and add them like that it will add them uh, for the inventory right there and shipping you're going to set uh, the track inventory uh, this is uh, for you if you want to make something trackable and if you are not you're going to set it only in stock and put a sku code for it as an identifier and also you can go ahead and put a the shipping weight for example we're going to ship something at 0 0.3 you can set a pre-order if you are going to set a exclusive uh, product and you can create a subscription for that specific product when you finish you are going to click on save and here we have added the first item for our catalog if you want to make the catalog bigger you are going to add more and more products for example you can go ahead and add a, a digital product you can upload the file you can set the name as the before but here we don't have the shipping because it is a digital product so here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one